Hey dreamers and welcome to I'm Still Here. This is another horror game from Itch where we just move into a new apartment but something spooky is happening but thankfully we have the power of the internet. Let's begin. Oh, throws me right in. Ah, finally moving into my new place. A chance to start a new life. The landlord seemed a little weird about this place but I don't have time to worry about that. I need to finish putting those books away. Whoa! Living room. All right. I I I understand. I understand. See what's happening here. I'm just gonna have a look around. Ah, I need to, those books. Where are these books? Or did it say boxes? And I looked. Oh, there we go. Books. Oh, I got a book. Oh. Well, I'm gonna put it properly as much as I can. I don't want it to look stupid, you know. I mean, it already does. I like the physics there. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at that. This is really cool. Can I look? You use the internet already? Oh, there we go. Text selection. Uh, how do I delete my internet history? I just looked at porn on my mom's laptop and I don't know how to delete my history. Help! You can't delete it, dude. You gotta destroy the laptop. Damn it! But how am I supposed to know? You know, this. You gotta. You gotta learn this stuff. I'm glad there was someone out there in the interwebs to tell me that I have to destroy it before it's too late. Excuse me? My books just fell off. Get back on the shelf. I got things to do. Take this big book here and put it right there. Big books always go first, right? You know what I'm saying, guys? You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna put that one over here. There's lots of shelves, but I'm just gonna put them all right next to each other. That means I get more room to fill up with books later on. Anybody in my apartment? Oh my god, my sensitivity. It's fine. It will pass. Put my books away. Oi! <laughs> what the heck? Why are my books moving? I need to figure out what's going on. I should ask the internet for help. Alright, well, my books are haunted. So, searchy, searchy. Why well, don't my books stay on my shelf? Whenever I put my books on my shelf, they fall off. Why does it do that? You should throw your books away. Reading is for nerds. Oh. Well, why don't my stuff stay still? All my furniture and stuff keeps moving around on its own. What is wrong? You got ghosts, bro. You need to perform an exorcism. Uh, okay. Oh, snap. I think I have ghosts. You think? Oh, <laughs> look at it go. Yeah, definitely ghosts. I should ask the internet how to get rid of these ghosts. Yes, the internet is everything. Come on. I will uh, I have some voodoo stuff going on, question mark. There's all these creepy sounds and my TV keeps changing channels. Sounds like when my grand grandma had spirits messing with her. If you can get their attention, you can ask them to stop. I uh, would love to. Stop! Hey! My fucking book's back. Put that right there, huh? Oh, hey! <laughs> took, took it right off my shelf. Man, these ghosts. No, not polite at all. How do I... Get rid of a ghost. I started experiencing a haunting and I wanted to stop. I read it in a book once that ghosts don't like it if you mess with the light switch. Oh, hmm, this sounds promising. I should flip my lights on and off to annoy the ghosts. Okay, well, I mean, annoy the ghosts. Pro tip, guys. If you are if you have ghosts in your house, pissing them off might not be the way you want to go with it. But I guess that's our only option for now. You like that? You like that? Okay, keep doing it. Cut that out, dude. Jeez. Who said that? Get out of my house. No way. This is my house. Stop being such a jerk. This is my house now. You must be dead. Oh, wow. This is heavy. My spirit must be stuck here because my body still needs to be put to rest. That makes sense to me. Will you help find my body then? Sure. If it will get you to leave me alone, I'll find your body and put you to rest. Is his body in my house? It better not be. Where's this guy's body? Is the internet going to help me with this one too? Oh, he's in the closet. No. You're not in my closet, are you? Wait. Who's that? What did I just do? I knocked something down in the bathroom. Oh, I opened up the mirror. Oops. Where's this guy's body? Oh, it's the fish! Hey, that's me! You found me! So that's how I died. Wow, this is heavy. Oh, so sad. <laughs> well, can you help me move on so I can stop haunting this place? 
I finally put you to rest, little buddy. Oh. No! No, I gotta flush him! Oh, this is so sad! Bro! The poor little fish! Oh. Oh. Put him to rest. I'm gonna flush him out! I'm free! Rest in peace, little buddy. I'll always remember you. Oh, that's so sad. Oh. Oh. You go on to have a peaceful night and live comfortably in your new apartment. You can never shake the memory of your little friend. You occasionally take a peek in the toilet and dream of finding them there again. But all you find in the bowl is emptiness. Occasionally, there's a turd if you forgot to flush earlier. Oh! Well, that sounds like a me problem. Oh man, that was so sad. Poor little fish man! He don't deserve that. Did they just put him in the toilet and never flush him down? They, that's, that's, that's incredibly painful to play. That was definitely the saddest game I've ever played. <laughs> All jokes aside, my eyes are literally teary-eyed right now. I don't know if it's because I tried to fake cry, or this, this game is just so impactful. Let me know down in the comments below how this game made you feel. Out of 10, how sad it was. I'd be really happy to see if other people felt the same way I did. Well, guys, that was I'm Still Here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Time to flush the toilet now.